Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, click on your little spyglass. Oh, you're in the body tag already. But go ahead and click on that to make sure that we're selected the whole entire body, not just the div. Uh, so you want to go up one more, this one. Yep, so you'll see on the right-hand side are all of your styles. And look at how it's giving a border. That's interesting. Uncheck these just to, so we can see that this is where we're working. Yeah, the border is very small at the top. You can see the little blue line in the... Oh, yeah. It's kind of strange, so... And then the background color. Then right down below it, there's another one called body. There's where that other blue border is coming from. And then the background color. And then the main body tag has a background color of white. So if we're going to adjust this, the best place to put it is going to be in this main body tag. Okay. So what we would do is we would we would upload an image. We would have to upload it into our... Probably our template file. Yeah, or it can go into the Media Manager. We just have to create the right path to it. Okay. So should I access the site using FTP and then come back? Let's get our image in the site first, then come back to our tools? Right. Yep, first let's upload the image. Okay. Would you suggest going to the Media Manager or FTP? Um, you can go through FTP. That's fine. That's a good way to show it. All right. So if you're unfamiliar, and you know what? We did some changes using um, the developer tools right now. I'll just refresh the page to illustrate that those changes aren't permanent, right? You're just kind of playing around with the site. But what we're going to do is permanent. So let's go to cloudaccess.net. Let me close some additional windows here. I'm going to log into my client area. And if you're not a client of ours, you don't have access to this area, but we've got a lot of tools built in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the site. This is Art Gallery 41, so I can kind of go to my products and services and search for a site. And before I actually go to my cloud control panel to get my access for FTP, I'm going to manage my backups. I'm going to create a backup of the site because this is a pretty big change. And it's, we have the possibility of messing something up. So I'm going to create a quick backup so everything is uh, safe. So it's going to take just a moment for that backup to be created, and then I can go back and access my site using FileZilla. So I'll open FileZilla now. This is just an interface, right, Jen? Right. FileZilla is just a way to access the files through FTP. So there are other FTP clients that you may be using or that you're more comfortable with, but we like files a lot, so that's what we show. Yeah. So our backup's created, and now so you see my April 5th backup. Uh, I know my content's safe, and I can simply restore. If I don't like the changes I've made, I can simply just drag and drop my restore um, to revert back to the older version. So now let's go back to the main client area, and we're going to go back to that site. Art Gallery 41, and I'm going to go to my Cloud Control Panel. There's a lot of great resources here for you. I'm going to go to the FTP, SFTP, SSH tab to get all the details I need to log in to FileZilla. So first I'll need my uh, host name. I'll paste that here. My username. I will paste that here. And then my password. By default we hide those passwords. Let's go ahead and copy and we go back to FileZilla and paste. By default we're going to access through port 21 which is what we want. Let's go ahead quick connect. See the command and response field populate and these are the site folders and now here are and this is my computer over here. So what I'm going to do is go to the art gallery folder on my computer and I've got that background. I'm actually going to quickly open this up just to make sure I've got the right one. And pattern underscore 10 is what I called it. So we can close this. 
go find pattern underscore 10 here. And where am I going to want to put that, Jen? You're going to want to put it into, so you'll go into the HTTP docs folder, which is the main folder of your site, and then into the images folder. Okay. And just upload here. Yep. So I can right click here and select upload. And that is a really large image. It's actually going to slow down our load time, but it's a good one to use to illustrate. So now I should be able to scroll and find pattern 10, so it's in there. What, what's next, Jen? Okay, so now that you have the pattern 10, um, it's going to be found in the images folder. So now we're going to go back to, let's go back to the site and make sure that we can display the image, and then we'll copy and paste the code into our template.css. Okay. So let's open up developer tools again. I'm in the body tag already. Yep, so we're going to take the let's go in well let's do the body site tag because they're putting this class on it. So in here, if you just double click so you can create a new line. Yep, and say background image, background dash image. Yep, and then colon. Then it's going to be URL, and then a parentheses, and then forward slash ima your images folder, because that's where we put it, and then forward slash, do you know what the name of it? Do I need the file type? Uh, yep, and then close the parentheses. All right, so click on that. Let's there it see. is. Yep. So that's now in the background. Right. So um, now that we have this, and let's see, did it, so it still has that little top border. See that three pixel border? Mm-hmm. So we could remove that. Border top. Yeah. Okay. Now the but, border, yep. Yeah. So the blue is still there. So what would I do? Uh, what I would do is un check that again. Okay. And instead of saying um, or recheck re that box so that it turns the black one back on. Uh, nope, the top one. Oh, there Where we it go. Says border top. Yeah, and then instead of saying three pixels, just put it, set it to where it says border top. Set it to none. Just no. zero yeah. or. Yeah, erase all of what's in there, the three pixels, solid, zero, zero, zero. Okay. And then type in the word none, N-O-N-E. -E. There. So that takes it away okay. without, um, without keeping the one below it. Okay. All right. So this is, so now that we have the style the way we want it, we want to copy this body dot site, this, this style, and put it, into our template.css sheet. So I'm going to copy this. And we should check if there's a way to do this through the back end of Joomla, right? In Firefox, see if we have a different lock. Oops. Under templates. Well, it looks a lot different. Wow, yes it does. Which might be a good thing. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And Jen, what's the reason why we put this at the bottom? Because in the CSS sheet, uh, the styles are read from the top down. So anything that you put below the main, or if there's a style up above that is already there, the default style, and you paste it down below, it's going to take that second, that second set and use that instead as the default. It'll overwrite it. 
basically. Okay. So I'm able to work a little bit better here. Do I still have my code? I just pasted and nothing. From notebook, possibly? Let's open up that file. Yeah, nothing. I just did it three times, so now it's it's thinking. So, hmm. There, it pasted it. It did paste it. So it's in. Let's. Did you? You said something about special classes, or? Uh, no. You can actually leave this as it is. Okay. Um. And go ahead and and save that. And let's see um, if it saves it on the front end. Okay. If, if it doesn't save, then we'll just need to add that important tag to it. It did save. But it's there. Yeah. Very good. So um, let me get back here quickly and just look. Because it looked like my black border was still there. Oh, it did. So what I would do is um, I would add that border top, none, uh, add the important tag next to that one, that line. Right here? Yeah. So is it, it's just exclamation point important, is that right? Yep. Let's save, green message, refresh my page, and see what's happening is that image is very large, and it's gone, but my load time is now going to increase because we've got the custom background pattern. It's really a the image is too large right. to, to use for that. But, you know, that's the long of it, really. We ran into some issues with the Google Chrome browser opening that. Um, 3.0 template.css file, but um, hopefully, Mr. Paul, that helps.